And today I'm gonna explain to you how to do composite filling in the plaque triangle cavity. How to select good matrix that will give you good emergence profile. How to apply the composite in a way that will not end up with the voids. How to move your two saturation interface in an area that will not gonna be stained later. This cavity is very small but also it's very tricky. First you have to remove all the biofilm using aluminum oxide 50 micron. You have to protect the neighboring tool with any matrix that you have in the office. After removing all the biofilm with the ammonium oxide, now you're ready for aging. First, you have to select good matrices. A102 is the matrix that you use in this case. Aging, washing, and dryness. Applying the adhesive, universal one. From 3M, from the labial, from the palette, changing the brush to make sure that I covered all the surface. Do not cure the adhesive, apply heated flower composite because we have only enamel here. And after applying the heated flower composite, applying the heated paste composite, do not cure the flower. And make sure that when you're applying the heated paste composite, don't push too much in the matrix zone in the proximal area. Push from the injection zone, which is the area that outside the matrix. Also applying the composite from the palatal side. Do not care about the excess you will remove it later when you will do finishing after you will cure from the labial from the uh, palatal and it is a final result don't care about the excess start removing the excess with a high speed diamond pair in 60,000 70,000 rpm dry or or uh, with water but make sure that not too much pressure after removing the bulk of the composite you start you will check to the low speed by using um, diamond pair, comet, um, perio pair, no, 11,000 rpm is a very good pair. If you use in the 11,000 without with the slight pressure, it will not remove from the tooth structure, it will remove only with the composite slightly. After refining the labial surface, you will using disc to refine the incisal edge and also to do the line angles. Usually the speed for the disc 5,000, not more than that. This is a coarse disc. For, for 5,000, you remove it without any uh, fear that you will remove from the tooth structure. From the palatal side, you lose American football carbide pair, also in 50 or 40,000 RPM, slight pressure. After removing all the excess from the palatal side, recheck again the labial side from the medial, from the distal, from the occlusal, to see if any line angle need to be uh, 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 finished again, to remove all the excess from the cervical part, to do the tertiary anatomy, I turned a chicken, taking photos, uh, I will go for the polishing. I will not do polishing before checking many times the photo with the mirrors and different angles to make sure that I finished all the composite and I uh, did all the shape I want uh, for my tooth. I will start my polishing with using a magic mix from Pipe Clear, speed also 10 or uh, 9000 RPM using um, uh, rubber cups and later using diamond paste from uh, group style italiano with a gut hair with also low speed this is a final result very good results after removing the rubber dam the patient is happy very fast efficient predictable you can do it only in 30 40 minutes not more than that i hope you liked the video and see you later assalamu alaikum